strike one. I hate it when that happens. Let me see if he gives me a chance for a strike two. It's probably about five inches long. <laughs> strike two. He's got to be tiny. Hey, I'm Bob Smith for BassandBobs.com. Uh, it's October. We just had the first strong cold front come through. It was 40 degrees first thing this morning. It's a little on the chilly side for here in Florida. But it's fall. Fall means big baits. What I'm doing is I'm pitching a 10 and a half inch, uh, a 10 and a half inch worm. I've got it on a five odd hook with uh, just an eight ounce weight. The water is still 75 degrees, but it's been getting cool at night for the last couple days. And fall is when the fish will will bulk up for the winter. Even though we don't go into a full blown winter pattern here, they they still bulk up. They they still store up on food. So we're gonna throw this. We're gonna uh, pitch this ten and a half inch worm uh, along the river here, and uh, we'll just see what happens. Maybe they'll uh, actually get it and not just play with it and miss it like that one did. They don't want to give them three strikes because three strikes and you're out. But he ate it. He choked that thing. He's little, but he ate it. Uh, just because you're throwing a ten and a half inch worm, it's not going to exclude you from smaller fish. But I really think it is going to increase your chances of getting bigger fish. Now, you probably won't catch many much smaller than that one. Which if you're fishing a tournament is okay because the majority of the fish you're going to catch are going to be keepers. It's a giant. Remember what I said before about not much smaller? Yeah, you can get smaller. He thought he was bigger. That's a big worm. The head is kind of sliced now. I was going to bite off about a half inch. Now I got a 10 inch worm. I don't have to re replace it. Just shorten it. Just a little bit. Sure, it'd be nice if they start going up in size. You ever had one of them days? There. It's fat little fish. But that just shows you, you don't need to reserve 
these big 10 inch worms, 11 inch worms for ledge fishing or Carolina rigging. They work just fine pitching, flipping, casting. I did ask to go up in size and I did a little bit, so that was cool. Oh, he's a keeper. Oh, get back here. Stop your flopping around. Fix and I'll let you go. He's a keeper. So we've been throwing a Zoom all monster 10.5 inches, 10 and a half inch uh, June bug um, worm. It's just Texas rigged, five odd hook, eighth ounce sinker. Uh, and I have it skin hooked. I don't have it exposed or the hook inside the middle of the worm. Uh, that's a big package, a big worm. I want a good hook set when the fish takes that. We've been pitching mostly to wood, brush along the bank, and we've caught some fish. But uh, just because that's a big worm doesn't mean you're going to catch big fish. 10.5 does not mean 10.5 pounds. But uh, it does hold true with the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. So your odds are a lot better of getting a big fish on this worm than if you were throwing a six inch worm, we'll say. Uh, they're uh, a bait that should be in your arsenal all the time because sometimes like today they wouldn't eat a jig but when I put this in there they'll eat they ate it I didn't get no monsters but I caught fish so make sure you got some of them big ten and a half inch worms in your uh, in your arsenal in your boat so for bassandbobs.com I'm Bob Smith and I'll see you out here on the water <laughs>